It's been a while, but last year I began making the sports from the original Wii Sports in VR, revolutionizing these classics with modern controls. But what if we weren't limited to the original Wii Sports? What if I added in... Okay, let's get to work. In my opinion, swordplay is easily the best sport in the entire Wii Sports series. And if you disagree, you're flat out wrong. But to be honest, the only annoying part of it is playing against the CPUs because they know exactly where you're gonna hit. But anyways, I start off where we all do by looking at my old and loyal friend 3D models resource because I need to rip models of the arena along with the sword and armor models. And they're not even on there. With my newfound frustration at 3D models resource, I whipped out my dumped copy of the game. And no, I can't send this to anyone because I want Miyamoto's family to be able to eat. I dug through all the files and imported them into Wexos toolbox and then exported them in BRRES format and then opened them in ABMAT and exported them along with their textures. Now that I'm equipped my legally acquired models, I reconstructed the map and applied all the textures and this kind of took a long time. Then I dragged in the SteamVR player from the old Wii Sports games that I made and gave him the legendary sword. But as a wise man once said, a sword does not work if one cannot hit. So I added in a nice friend, and all this friend wants to do is endlessly beat you into submission. Unfortunately, he can't do that yet, and that's because he needs a brain. So I booted up my Nintendo Wii, and I played some sword play duel myself, so I can see how Matt's brain functions in the flesh. While I was playing, I noticed that the sword moves up and down based on its rotation using an imaginary triangle. I originally thought this was a semicircle. The apex obviously marks the sword's highest point, and the two corners are where the sword stretches out the widest. And by using this observation, along with a simple analysis of the AI's behavior in-game, I came to the conclusion that it jumps around with random timers and random rotations, but with a minimum change amount, and now with this implemented, the AI will completely mimic the blocking behavior the same as the original game. I also added a little particle blocking effect that wasn't in the original game, because from this perspective, it's hard to notice when the enemy is blocking. A similar effect is used in Nintendo Switch Sports. Unfortunately, he isn't able to beat me yet. Uh, he's just kind of spinning his sword around and being all weird, so we need to make him aggressive. So I give him some steroids, and pretty much what they allow him to do is periodically stop blocking and slash his sword at me, which knocks me back. I also give the player the ability to fight back. He can slash back with his sword and block. I also give him the same particle effect for when he's blocking because I thought it just looked cool. Now it's time to get rid of our blank character and add my own personal arch nemesis. Matt. And oh, he's really pissed that I fucked up his face, but I fixed it. He was really pissed about me messing up his brain though. Oh yeah, and I also equipped the armor that I got from Wexo's toolbox and helped Matt put it on himself because he's eternally locked into just using a sword for the rest of his life. I also got the model of Woohoo Island off Sketchfab and it imported it. And to be honest, the lighting didn't look very good. But I ended up working on some post-processing effects and tweaking the lighting. And it looks far better now in my opinion. It's on par with the original game. And to be honest, Woohoo Island really carries this game in general. There's one major thing missing from this game, and that's sound. So I ripped the sounds from the sounds resource, which is a sister site to 3D models resource. So it had a kind of redemption. And I added in the ambience along with the head sounds and the in-game sounds. Then I worked on the game logic and loop, wins and losses, and I added a finale mode for if there is a tie at the end of the three rounds. Some of the sounds I found in the game files were crowd ambience, but we don't have a crowd yet, so it would just be kind of ominous. So I grabbed the me face textures from the game files, but they're blocked by these green numbers. I don't know how to remove that. So I used this online me maker website and randomly generated some me's and placed the faces around the crowd manually. And this took a lot of time. And with all these features implemented, this mode is complete. Okay, so now it's time to make the next board. And honestly, I think Island Flyover will be a good option because it's easily my second favorite mode because it's just kind of chill and relaxing you don't really have to do much and i know it's some of you psychopaths favorite anyways the simple arcade controls and just flying around the spectacle that is woohoo island is just pretty cool and it's honestly no wonder that nintendo considers woohoo island to be a character it's a big open place with enough lore around it that it can actually feel like it's lived in anyways i'm gonna stop gushing about this game and continue remaking it 
I tried checking 3D models resource for the plane model because I already have the Wii Island model and they didn't have the plane model. So I'm gonna have to open up Wexo's toolbox and dig through the files and I found the plane model and I exported it with its textures. I also imported Wii Island from Sketchfab and I copied over the lighting effects. This is complex and I'm probably gonna have a brain ad here as I'm thinking about this but I started thinking about how I want this mode to control and I think this is the first mode that the controls won't directly translate into VR. It's complicated but this sport is controlled through the Wii Remote's gyroscope behaving as the plane itself, similar to the left wing in Sk Zelda Skyward Sword, but this wouldn't work in VR, let alone it would be an absolute nightmare to control. So I had a plan. I'm gonna make a plane interface, a joystick that handles rotations, and a button for acceleration. This is 10,000 IQ and it'll feel so much better. Yeah, I know you can complain about it not being completely accurate to the original game, but it honestly does not matter, it wouldn't work anyways. So now that we have a plan, we actually have to make the plane controllable. So I started off by making it far more complicated than it needed to be, and giving myself another brain aneurysm, and it also led to some pretty interesting glitches. But eventually I simplified it to how it is in the actual game, with the more arcadey controls, and it works perfectly, it's pretty much the exact same as the original game, just it's controlled with the joystick. I also added collision to the island because that's pretty important, otherwise you can just fly through it. Now that we've achieved flight and we can fly over Wuhu Island, it's time to add the eye points. Pretty much they just give information based on the landmark you pass in the text box. So I place these on their designated landmark and it's complete. Also did you know that the lighthouse like emits Morse code? And now after way more effort than initially needed, the island flyover mode is complete. And yes you can change the skybox to effectively have the night and day modes. I don't know if I explained this but this game contains both the sports from Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort in the same game, similar to that combination disc Nintendo released. It's actually pretty rare, but it contains uh, both Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort. But a perk of this is that I can go into bowling and add in the 100 pin mode, and I can also go into golf and add the courses from Wii Sports Resort. By the way, in the last video, the controls I made for golf are closer to the Wii Sports Resort's improved controls than the original Wii Sports so I don't have to improve them anymore. I also went back and fixed bugs in some of the old sports because they were in a pretty bad state beforehand. Okay, that's about all I got done for this game. There hasn't been any uploads in a while because I was pretty busy with other things. But uh, other than that, I might do a play test or something on Discord. The link to that is in the description. Okay, whenever I was editing this, I realized how tired I sound. And that's because I recorded this part at three o'clock in the morning. And uh, what I'm about to say is pretty stupid, but I'll let it play. Alright, just like and subscribe or this video might do shit and I might never upload again. <laughs>